and even to make our children better, to prosper. Lord, I pray you will grant us the wisdom. Where we have been failing or where we have been ignorant, we ask, oh Lord God, you will open our eyes and our hearts and you will steer us up so that we can do the needful in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' glorious name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Please, I am uh, the Pastor Kenny, Regional Overseer of the Midland Region. I am a doctor of engineering. I've been in the university for over 16 years, teaching and doing research. And I've been, I decided to go to our schools to teach. So I had to do PGC. And then I've been teaching for over 15 years. And I can tell you, not until I got to school, my children have already passed out. Thank God for his grace upon their lives. But I was very, very ignorant. I still tried my best, but not until I got to school that I got to know more. I pray that my own tears will wet your own garden so that your children's life will be far, far better than mine in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Time will not permit us. Daniel chapter 1, I just read verses 3 to 4, then I read the last part. And the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of his eunuch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and the princess, and the princess, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's place, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. So there are things to be taught. Daniel and his friends are here to learn in school. They were godly. We need to be godly. However, we were told that they were 10 times better. And that's the goal of this seminar, to make our children prosper. And if they have been failing, we will do everything. After this seminar, I pray things will be better for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's look at the introduction first. One thing we need to know is that education is designed to equip children with essential with knowledge and skills essential for life. And that's important. And to enable them to compete successfully. They need to compete successfully in our challenging society. You heard one of our regional overseers spoke about this toxic society. We, as children of God, our children must shine. I need you to understand that when I was in Manchester as the uh, pastor there, my goal, because at that time it was uh, in, the, in the 90s, and you know, when the school results were out, you will see unbelievers, people from whether India topping the, 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 the school, oh, 10 A's, 9 A's. My desire is that we children of God, our goal is to make our children to be above only. The scriptures have given us that promise. So we have to do everything. And thank God a lot is happening today. Amen? Amen. And when you read the scriptures, you will find out that God expects us to excel. Amen? And as I will be making us to understand that, and you will see that especially here and where we have come from, the academic performance and our ability of our children will be the gateway. And I can tell you, will be the gateway regulating their access either to further education or either even to careers in this life. So we need to do everything possible to make our children to excel. You know, studies have shown that children are two main educators. And you need to understand, are models in their lives. One, their parents. Two, their teachers. But one thing we need to know, our own philosophy has been parents, oh, we just want to train them so that they can understand things. No. 
<laughs> Many of us have failed to know that the education of our children must not be left to the teachers alone. They have their parts. We have our own parts. I will read some research that things that I've read in uh, papers and things. You know, research tells us, and it shows that where there's no evidence, where there's no evidence of parents involving themselves, involving themselves, let me come back, involving themselves in the educational interest or in the education of their children. If parents are not involved at all, we're told that there's a high rate of poor or bad qualification for 16. That is, if parents don't involve themselves in the education of their children, the children will not do well. We've seen, I've, I've been in school for years and I've seen results where parents, and look at us here, we left Africa, we left Asia, we left everywhere to come to UK. But our goals are not these children. Oh yes, some came to give the children, we think we have better education here. We have some, but not all. So, and, these children, as I said, if we fail to be involved as parents, and I will tell you what we need to do, as parents, the results of the children will not be good. They might pass, but they might not get to what they ought to be. You know, research also shows that no matter your income, whether you earn a lot of money and people earn good money, or the background of parents, only students, with involved parents, parents that are involved with the student's education are more likely to have <laughs> higher grades and academic that? success. Only those students in which the parents are involved, and you can begin to see this research. Research also studied that we have since have shown that people's performance is closely linked, is closely linked to family factors. If the family, the father, the mother, are not fully involved at home, you find out that children will not do well. And I can, I can attest to that myself. I didn't know much, but I tell you, when we were growing, our, our children were growing up, the, 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 the kind of parental involvement we gave to them, this school in this country in the 90s and maybe early 20s, they are all graduates now, they are top people, but the amount of time I gave, the amount of time my wife gave so that we can bring them up. And we didn't know much, but you will know a lot better than us. What do I mean by parents being involved and engaged in the lives of children? You can read it there, Parental involvement and engagement refers to collaboration between the parents and the school to improve. Remember, your life is to improve the child's education, educational experience and academic performance. And this will entail, as you will find out, number one, we need to start engaging with the teachers. You need to phone them. There's nothing wrong. Some of us might not know. You can call the teachers after school. Teachers are there. You can send a text to the teacher just to find out about what your children or your child is doing in school. You can. They will tell you basic things. They might tell you bigger things than you expected. But you find out, and you know, the 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 the, the, the it involves you looking at their results. Not the same results own. You want to check, you want to scrutinize, you want to look at things, and you can talk to teachers if they're sailing in a subject. So it, it will uh, enable you to know and to monitor the child's progress and then learn on how to support at home. If they are sailing in say English or mathematics, what can you do? How can you help them? And that's where the engagement is coming in, then helping with own work. Number one, to focus on learning. You are not doing the own work for them. You are helping, you are guiding, you are teaching. 
you are making them pro to improve. And please, as parents, you'll find out we are not there to enforce. We're there I'm to enforce. Trying to I'm trying to listen to the... We're trying to encourage, to encourage them with their own work. Show them, give them examples so that they can do it. Don't do it for them. Again, partaking in parents' meeting. That's the involvement. Some of our fathers, you are too busy. It's only mothers you send, but both parents must be involved. In parents' meeting, very, very crucial. It's at parents' meeting, they talk to you about how the child is doing, what is happening, you need to go. You have to do everything. Take time off work. This is important if you want progress for your children. Attending school activities sometimes is important. And whatsoever the school is doing, be part of them. The teachers will see you. They will talk to you. They want to see how things are. They will tell you about your child. And not only that, if you can volunteer to help in classroom, to help in the school, if you have the time, this is good. They know you are involved. And you know, when you are involved, they will help your child to progress. So do something. And I put it there, investment of time and finance. Your time on your children is very, very important. You more, it's what you sow, you will reap. You have to invest time to, uh, for the children. I, I will talk much on that later. Time as a father, as a, mo as a mother, especially father. I know mothers will be there, especially we fathers, be there to see that all work is being done. Be there to assist, be there yourself because you will. your time is that they see you as example. It's not when you are at home, they are meant to be doing their own work, you are doing something, like pick your Bible, pick something if you don't have anything to do. I will pick some because you are leading them by example. Remember you are a model, you are leading them. You are, they see you doing things, invest your time and your finance. Brethren, some of us don't know that there are bookshops in this country. There are books to buy. I have collection here, which I will show you later. You must invest money. If you want your children to do well, there are books to buy, which I will show you with time. There are things to do. When you diligently do this, look at the result. Number one, their, their academic results will be fantastic because they see that dad and mom are engaged with us. Their result will be, I can tell you, prayerfully their result will be better. Number two, their behavior in school, out of school, because they see you, they see the example, they see the things you do, their own behavior will be, will be a lot better. You know, they will have confidence and greater self-esteem because they know every subject, they see them say, oh, we understand this. Mommy has helped me, daddy has helped me, and I can see things. You have engaged them with books. You have engaged them with things to do. You know, number uh, four, there'll be higher attendance in school. If parents are not involved, you are just leaving the children, maybe you are not there in the morning, or mommy's not there, daddy's not there, they just packed in, they might not be in school. But when they see that parents are involved, and you know things, yes, so thank God, schools will phone you, but they can still, be, uh, 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 you might not see them in school on time, then there's lower risk of exclusion. Because where parents are fully involved, there will be lower risk of exclusion. And the most important thing, enthusiasm about learning. Because if you are, if children love to excel or himself or herself, it will bring a shame. When you are not there, they are watching, whether television or they are busy on their phone, they are not doing anything well. But let me tell you, our children will be 10 times better. Amen. Let me hear a big amen. 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 Thank, you. Amen. Thank you. Three things I will discuss. The knowledge of the educational system in Britain, the know-how of excelling in schools in Britain, and then we'll look at the knockout. That's the way that will give us the triumph. But let's look at the first one, the knowledge. When you look at the Bible, look at the scriptures in John chapter 8, verse 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. 
Yeah. It is the knowledge of the truth. The, the, it is the knowledge of this educational system in this country. If you don't know it, you will just be running elter skelter. I didn't know much when we came, but not until you know my professor. And I need to tell you this: when I was uh, at Manchester University, I was a lecturer, and my professor was my the head of the department. Called me that he said, uh, Dr. Ademoso. I noticed that your children are doing very well. It's a consultant, it's an old man. And he said, how did you do it? And I was explaining to him. Then he told me that, do you know that in this country, there are schools and there are schools, that uh, there are grammar schools, there are ordinary schools. I said, why, sir? He said, uh, Dr. Ademoso, if everybody can go to grammar school, where will be those who will be serving at uh, Asda or <laughs> with? He said, so if everybody can pass into quality school, there will be nobody sweeping the road. That the, mm. the, and we need to understand that, that this country is a class system. Where you push your children to, we determine where they will end. Mm. And that's why you need to have knowledge. Mm. If you don't have the knowledge, the Bible says, my people uh, are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. And that's why I want you to understand this a, a part of this uh, thing. When you look at the educational system of this country, you see it's divided into key stages. Uh, some of us, we don't know where we come from. You have SS, this, SS, that. The same thing in, in an approach. Uh, the, you will see we have keys, a key stage one, key stage one, we have years from four to seven. Let me say four to seven. Yeah, uh, ages four to five will be the nursery and reception year. Ages four to five. So if you are here, your children are four to five, try and get a school, a quality school. I'm talking about schools before I go into this, brethren, there, maybe you need to write it down. I know it might be in the uh, a thing given to you. There's something called Ofsted, Ofsted, O-F-S-T-E-D. You Google Ofsted report. The Ofsted report has reports about primary schools, quality primary school. It has reports about secondary schools. <clears throat> and it will tell you whether the school is outstanding whether the school is good, whether the school requires improvement. The required improvement is the least result. They are, they are trying. They won't say fail. That's more like failing. That's a failing school. So even in primary school, primary school is so crucial because there they teach them. So you Google wherever you come from, find out Ofsted, important, O-F-S-T-E-D, Ofsted report, even about primary school. So they would teach, so five to seven, and I will talk more on each of them. So age five to seven is what we call key stage one. And then those are year one and year two. Five to six, year one, six to seven, year two. So you can compare all these ages, that's what we use here. and. You'll find out at the end of key stage one, there's a SAT test. And I will explain that maybe in our next thing, where they will do English and mathematics and writing. Brethren, children are formed. The brain is formed at this young age. Mothers and fathers must be attentive. You pay attention. For your children at this time, don't run around, stay. It is what you inculcate in them at this time that we grow in them. There are phonetics books, I will talk about that. I've told you to go and buy books. There's handwriting books. I don't know, you will see them maybe, oh, it's not shown here. It's not shown on my screen. I have many books that I can bring across to you with time that you need to buy. For them, even at that age, a group, spend money. You are investing. Spend time. 
you are investing. Sit with them. Teach them how to write. There are books they sell. Remember those of you, maybe my own age, getting to 60 something now. In those days, even back in Africa, we have writing books. They have writing books here. Teach them how to write. Teach them phonetics. You can teach them simple things. Teach them simple numbers, counting one to 20. Even on the stairs, you are teaching. Because the teaching is not just sitting down. As they are sitting up, as they are playing with their toys, you are counting the toys with them. That's teaching. Now, at that age seven, they are given a test called SAT, key stage one SAT. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Here, we don't repeat classes. They move you at, with your age. They take them from seven to key stage two. In key stage two, we have year three to year, uh, um, I think three to year four, I think. Uh, I'll find out later. Yeah, I, I think it's year four. I, I know seven to 11, it's key stage two. That takes them to year six. So they move from year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. And this is very, very important. I talk more about that. At the end of year six, they will sit a test. We'll talk more about the test later called SAT. Brothers and sisters, this SAT is very vital. Don't think they're in primary school. It is very, very vital. Parents spend months teaching, teaching. You get teachers, get tutors to teach if you cannot teach because there are science, I have science, I have maths and um, uh, science, maths and English. That's what they will sit at this time. Science, maths and English. They will see the exam, I'll show you that later. Please year 11, don't wait till they get to year six, year five, start teaching them. Why did I say it's important? If a child does well, very well in English and maths, when they get to secondary school in key stage three, that's where they will sit them. If the child does not do well in mathematics, when he gets to secondary school, he or she will be in bottom set. And that's where, unless you, you put in a lot of effort, that's the set the person will stay till year 11. And when they sit the exam, you find that your child is getting a four or a three. And that's why you invest the time. So year seven, to 11, age seven to 11, important. Though it's primary school, but you have to spend time. So then from 11, they go to secondary school. Here in secondary school, we have 11 to four, key stage three and uh, key stage four. There, uh, key stage three and key stage four in secondary school, 14 to 16. So in the key stage three, this year, seven, year eight, and year nine. Not age, year seven, year eight, and year nine. By the time they leave primary school, they leave primary school, we call it year six. So they get to year seven, eight, and nine here. And I will talk a little bit about year nine, important, because we'll talk much later, and my time is going. In year nine, that's when it's called uh, 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 the year they do, I think, we call it um, option year, option year, option year. Maybe I'll talk about that. In that option year, that's when they choose their subjects. Parent, and I need you to understand, write it down. When they get to year nine, they choose their subject. The subject will lead them to year 11, which will lead them to A level and university. If you don't choose the right and you are not there with them, they will give them the form to take home. Most of us won't check it. The subject you have to sit with them. Don't force them to choose mass physics, chemistry, and other thing. Look at how they are doing. See how good the children are. Whether they are good in arts and other thing, you combine that and you show them and then they choose their option. Then year 11, we'll talk about that. They say 10 and 11, they do their GCSE. That GCSE is key in this country. Even if you are going for a job of a director, they will still check your GCSE. They want to see how you performed. And, and then 
we talk about a level with time. So time is needed. But let me go back to the primary school. Oh, the, what I've given you is just a straight line to comprehensive school. But um, there's what we call grammar school, which I didn't put a line there. The grammar school at top class schools. We pay money to get to grammar school. You can pay money. There are fee paying grammar school. And I can tell you, you can invest. I sent my son to fee paying grammar school initially. It was there for two years. It cost us money. You know, some of us, in those days, we didn't have much, but we wanted him to go there. Then we realized that there are also uh, 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 schools that, uh, there are also grammar schools in which they are non-fee paying, non-fee paying. And, I, I, and that's where I want you to see. The non-fee paying, they have to sit exam called 11 plus. And I will show you that with time. 11 plus, write it down. 11 plus exam will lead them not to go to comprehensive schools, but to go to grammar schools. You know, some of us come here and we think, well, they are in England, a comprehensive school is good. No, 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 not all of them. Not all of them. That's why you need to check the Ofsted report to know which school your children will go to if you are unfortunate that you can't get them to grammar schools. Ofsted report will show you which, and you know, parents have more, even to grammar school that are non fee paying. You have to live around there as well for them to allow your children. So sometimes we, 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 we just migrate because of the children. We move, we move to a better area where there are quality grammar schools. Because the grammar schools also, they are, if you check us after report, they vary. Amen? They vary. But let me just show you uh, the know-how so that we can look at things quickly because time is going. Now, two major exams or three major exams that we need to concentrate upon, SAT. Uh, brothers, in P state two, if I go back, that's the second key at age 10 to 11, you must start preparing your children when they are year five. At year five, there are books that they sell. There's online provision, start exam. Start preparing your child in primary school because it's the result of that key state two that will lead them when they get to secondary school to put them in various classes. And those of you that might be here, I don't know whether anybody, maybe you're as old as me, if you're in your mid 60 or 60 and you school in Nigeria, and we call it G2. I don't know oh, whether yeah. some we call this G2. It is the G2 that we, they didn't do anything with G2 in those days, but G2 will help you here. The SAT will help you when you get to secondary school to do well. So that they can put you in a set. You know, when they put you with those who are praying, your brain will increase. But if your results are not good, they put you with those who are not doing well. I know when they send reports home, they will say, oh, she's doing very well. She's doing very well comparatively. Are you, are you hearing me? Comparatively to those who are not doing well, she's doing very well or he's doing very well comparatively to those who are not doing well. But when you have help, you must help. You must invest. You must get tutor, even in that primary school so that they can do it. And what they know will help them as they move on. We also have the GCSE at that level. We have the GCSE, which we need to look into uh, properly. And you know, the GCSE brethren, from year 10, we start preparing them. Year 10 is age um, 14 to 15. Your child will say, I'm in year 10, age 14 to 15. 
you start get teachers, even from year nine, when you have chosen the subject, get math teacher, it might be expensive. It might be about 20 something pounds. Please invest the money if you can't teach them. Because when they get to secondary school, some parents can't cope anymore. But you can still be there, sitting with them, sharing with them. And even while the teachers are there, the tutors, you are also there seeing and learning. And seeing, seeing, uh, going with it, please, there are online facilities. Every paper, unlike when we are told, every paper, you can just Google of um, 2019 mass papers. You can get them. They will show you all the papers. So they must have past papers. You, you must download them. Buy printers at home. Download have good internet. Download all these things so that your child, your daughters, your son can sit at home. Please, brethren, have a good study, study place for them. Not anywhere. Let them sit down to study. Let them sit down to study, to spend time, to study, to learn because that's their future. That's the gateway. The GCSE is the gateway to where they are going. So sit down with them so that they can learn and get to talk from year nine. Or if the person is weak in mathematics because you have spoken to the teacher in school, get somebody who can learn. And we have people in the church. We have teachers in the church. We have brethren. You can use some those in university that are good. If you cannot pay 25 pounds for professional teacher, you can get a, a student pay 10 pounds, but that student will give the best. I'm talking about uh, 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 undergraduate or postgraduate student that can help, but you have to pay them. Don't make it, don't, you have to pay. Don't say, oh, she says, she's a member of the church. No, give money so that they can teach and please, um, as parents, you need to know which exam board your, your student or your child is uh, uh, on each subject your child is studying, maybe in mathematics. We have an English and sciences. We have several exam boards. We have Edexcel. We have AQA. We have OCR. You need to find out what exam board are you doing. So that when you are downloading paper, you download paper based on, because the, the, the way the set questions are different. So you need to find out and then help the child, get somebody there by year 10, they're starting to do past papers. By year 11, they don't have time. Mock will take place in December. Second mock will take place in Easter. Only one month afterwards, they start their exam. So once they're in year 11, it's no time for play. It's time for you to allow your child exempt them from a bit of house chores. Exempt them. Let them have time instead of doing the, it's time that year 11. That year 11 is so crucial so that you exempt them to do that. Remember, if your child is in grammar school, and many of them will be in grammar school in Jesus' name. Amen. If they are in grammar school, the intensity of teaching is higher. So they must don't work, don't work, and children are given homework from school. If they don't have homework, you phone school. You have to sit with them. You have to check, maybe next slide, you check their bags, you check their things. Look at what is happening. Have you not got homework for this? And sit and look at what to do. As I've spoken about this, exam, passing exam is not a joke at all. And it doesn't come by luck. You must prepare them. You have to prepare them. You have to give them the confidence to sit and to do well. What was that? Okay. You have to get them so that they can do well. And some of these things that I've said, they are there. Engage the tutor, a parent taking time to teach their children, Knowledge of the question area, I've spoken about exam board and things that you need to do, cover the curriculum properly, they need to do that. You know, you can also give your child mock tests, mock things to do at home. That will help 
to do things properly. Let me, I hope the echo is not coming up too much. Amen. There are so many things that they can do to help them so that they can excel. We've seen uh, 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 the, the various papers you can download and the things you need to do. I'm coming, somebody just coming on my system. I need to decline something. Oh. I cannot, I cannot move, I'm coming. I just need to check my phone. Somebody is trying to, I cannot, remote control on your screen. Okay, thank you. And now, how do we excel? How, uh, what is the success criteria? to get these children to do very well. Number one, let's look at those things. You must set timetable for these kids. Set timetable for them at home. Because for you, for them to excel, you know some of these things, set timetable, when to study, when not to study. Sit with them, with your daughter, with your son. Get them to look at what time in the evening, what time in the morning, what time do they come back from school that they need to? You have all the tools. Use lots of online resources to aid study. We have some there, math and English, science, they're all over. Online is a good place to go to. BBC Bite Size, too many online resources for them. Get the children to sit down and you can walk with them along the way. Not only that, as I said, engage the help of an expert. This is important. Don't be shrewd. Whatsoever you invest on them, we help you later. Amen. So get them one for science. Maybe you can be fortunate to have a science and math teacher, but you need an English teacher to help. Sometimes you need somebody else so that you can sit with them and look at things. Build habits with them, study habits. When they are studying, you yourself find time to study. Amen? We, we, we said, even because we are Christian, if we don't have anything to read, read your Bible. When they see you studying, they will study. And also, remember, those of us that have parents and that have children in primary school, even in the church, we bring them to the church, give them notepad. When they are four, they can write their five. Give them notepad to take notes. And you yourself must be taking notes in church. What you take when they get to, it, it forms an habit in them on how to excel, how to do very well. So study time in the morning, study time in the, after, in the evening when they come back from school. You need to be there. As I've shared with those uh, uh, in Manchester many years back and those in Birmingham where I am now, when we were growing up and our children were growing up then and we too were growing, my wife, she had the opportunity to work in the afternoon. But no, we said no, she must be at home two o'clock before the children get to, uh, to home. She will pick them up. She will sit with them. They have their siesta. They have their rest. They eat. Before I come back from the university where I was then uh, uh, teaching, they are already doing their own work. I will meet them there. You have to plan. All of you can be working. If both of you are working and you leave the children, there will be a problem with them. So you have to be there. The study time. Make sure you are there. And this is important. Do your best, brethren. Do your best to minimize the use of electronic gadgets, phone, tablets, television. You have to do your best. Social media. 
that has taken, I can tell you, I'm a teacher. Children spend more time on their phone. Parents, you need to, I wrote something down concerning that because some, many of us are guilty. You lead by example. When they are studying, you yourself put your phone away. You, when they see mommy and daddy too busy on the phone, children will also be busy. Set boundaries for them at a particular time. No phone. Take it off them. Put it off and you have a way you can also lock their phones. There are gadgets all around there. So you, you have to do it. Phone is a barrier, brothers and sisters, and don't reward them with screen time. Don't reward them that if, if you do well, you will spend more time on the phone. No, set boundaries, set boundaries. Phone is only to help them to get to school. And please, parents, don't buy phone that they can access internet when they are in primary school or when they are in key state three. What, what do they need internet for? When they need internet, they will get it at home. Even in key state four, they don't need it. Ordinary phone is what you must give your children. Ordinary phone, not phone that has all the gadgets and then they will be in trouble later. Don't. And time, when you say you can't use phone at a particular time, take it off. So phone is important. You minimize the use of, engage children to learn musical instruments sometimes, engage them also to do activities. It's not only book, book, book. Engage them with activities. Saturday, maybe let them do whatsoever they, they, they are, maybe sports, maybe thing. engage them. Don't be too bookworm. Engage them in things that they can also gain from. In primary school, maybe the toys you are buying, they are educational, educational toys. Things that can make them to learn along the way. And learning is not only sitting down, as I said earlier, they can learn wherever you go to, as you are taking them out, you are counting, you are doing all these things to help them along the way. Many things you can use to teach. Do not judge or condemn your children for poor results. Uh, don't get angry with the children. No, encourage, motivate them. Motivate them with everything. You know, every time you are helping, you are motivating, they can climb higher, they can move higher, sit with them. And don't tell them you fail in this and you fail. And they say, well, since you fail in that, outcome, if I fail, it doesn't matter. Don't use your bad example as a way for them. Let them, because we find out that most children that are not doing well in mathematics, they will tell us, my father was not good in math. My mother was, no, no. And they think it's hereditary. It's not. There's a way we can get a lot of things done. Above all, pray. Amen? Amen? Pray. Commit them to God. Uh, I failed to mention uh, uh, the use of the library. Take the children to the library. Sit with them. That's the culture of learning. Let them go to the library. Let them choose books. Let them borrow books to read English, to learn. I need to read some books with them. Do spelling, do simple things. Because all these things, because time has, will not permit me to talk about 11 plus exam, which is necessary for children. Remember my goal for this thing is to make sure all our children get to grammar school, all our children. And I, I, I invested a lot of time on that when I was in Manchester, when we thank God the church had a school then. We had a school, a Lighthouse Christian School. And that school, every child, I promised the parent, your children will get to grammar school. And I told the teachers there, that's how I go. All the children, all of them, majority, I think all, got to grammar schools because the teachers, they knew the, 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 the focus I had, the new, uh, the thing, and we trained them to the extent that grammar schools were writing us that give us some of your children. Because those children were taught, some of them are doctors and engineers and, and lawyers and top people today. And many of them went to Oxford and Cambridge. 
If that happened then, that can still happen here. In Birmingham, I told, every time I preach, they know I am really concerned about the children and I will want to push them. So the 11 plus exam is important so that you can get them. If you don't have the money to get them, grammar schools are expensive. It's like the, you, know, you pay 12,000, 13,000, but the non-paying one is the one we can get because you don't need to pay. And it's the quality grammar schools. And you know, if they are, if the, if the, the amount of marks they score will help them to get to the topmost one. So you, if we want to groom them, not only from year five, even year three, you can start grooming them. We, we have books called The Bond. The Bond, uh, it's, it's unfortunate. I can't show, show it here. I, I think I have it somewhere here. 11 plus is called The Bond. Yeah, 11 plus, I don't know whether you can see it here. It's 11 plus success. You can buy it. You can get it online. 11 plus by bond. 11 plus uh, uh, also by uh, let. This is to get our children to grammar school. When they get to the top uh, uh, grammar school, it's a gateway for their success here. Remember Daniel, remember Daniel. They were 10 times better. It was a gateway. They got promoted. A gateway, a gateway. And I, I, I want to emphasize, if they can get to grammar school, let me tell you, they will do well in their GCSE because they will have quality teachers. Those teaching in grammar school, quality teachers. Quality. Because they know it, it, it's, it, it's payment. And you, when you check the hostel report, you see key things. So my goal is that all our children in, in, in Birmingham here, we have one of our pastors who has a school for a, a, a 11 and they can, he can teach online and help. And there are many others. Also in Manchester, I, I know we have one of our sisters also, they can assist. But 11 plus, they are all teachers. The 11 plus exam is key, it's key. If you can get your children to the non-paying grammar schools, oh, it will be well with you. And then you sit down and all the things I've taught you now, you are able to get them they get to Oxford, they meet people, they meet colleagues. And that's why you see them in top, top schools, in top, top jobs. Those who went to Oxford, that's the gateway to success. And your children will get there. I said your children will get there in the name of Jesus. So there Amen. are many, Amen. Thank, Amen. You. thank you. There are many things you need. You Amen. yourself, you are the one, you are the model, you are the educator, you are the person important to get these children there. You, you spend time. Brethren, when, when I took my son, my son in, in the normal school, I told him that we want you to get to grammar school. He said, why? He said, what about these other schools that uh, 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 his friends are going to? He was reluctant, but I, I didn't blame him. All the grammar schools have open days. I took him to the grammar school to see when he saw the facilities, when he saw the school, he said, I must get here. He was determined. I was determined. I took time off. I took time off my university then because I was still, I think I was, I, I was uh, doing my PhD then. I took time off. I went to my uh, supervisor. I said, please, uh, uh, can I just take time off? So he, he said, okay, it's your own time. And I took time off, two weeks to groom me. I didn't know that. Uh, we needed to, uh, I, I should have been reading with him. Then I went to the school because it was difficult. I don't know whether they will allow you in this day. I went to the school and I told the head teacher that, please, I want you to bring my son out to help him. He said, why? I said, because he wants to do exam. And I said, if I leave him here, can he pass this 11 plus exam? The head teacher said, no, he can never pass. I said, why? He said, they are not taught to teach them to get to grammar school. I said, what? I said, are your own children here? He said, no, his children are in a fee paying school so that they can get to grammar school. I said, please, can you let me take this child away for two weeks? He said, we don't do that, but because I, he saw some interest in me, he allowed me. Brethren, I took that my son out. I groomed him. I taught him. We had books at home. I taught, I sat down with him, with all the exams, uh, he got to the best grammar schools in Manchester. 
And at that time, you know, when you have books at home, it, it, they ask him a question. He said, it, it said, what's a balloon fish? In the interview, he said, what's a balloon fish? I said, I don't know. And when he came out, said they were asking me a balloon fish. I said, do you know balloon fish? He said, yes. I said, where did you read it for? Uh, from? He said, uh, uh, the knowledge book we have at home, because they, 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 we teach them to read. So he has read about balloon fish. I said, what's the balloon fish? He said, it's a small fish in the sea. And when he sees a predator, a big fish coming, it can blow itself up and it will appear as a big fish. I said, I didn't know you have this understanding, but he read all this from books at home. What do you have at home? What do you have? What do you have? Do you invest in education? Do you invest in books? Do you invest in a lot of knowledge things that these children can do extremely well? Let me tell you, in Birmingham, some of our year 11, if not, we are grooming, I mean, primary school to 11, we are grooming them to get to grammar school. Parents are investing. Parents are doing their best. And I, as a regional overseer, they know me. Now that's my goal. I tell the parent, pay money, pay teachers to help those children. And when, you know, when you do that, your children will give you rest at last. I pray when you are old, you will see the children excelling. Amen. Not only educational wise, moral wise, everything, because you have given time. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray now, but I don't know whether before we pray, whether we can entertain one or two questions. I know there will be question time, but uh, we might not have the opportunity. Is there anything that anybody wants to know before we pray? Or wants to know more? Yes, please. Sir. Can we get the list of books? Of the books, please. The books, we need the names, please, sir. Okay. The names of books, we will get them across to uh, For yes, prophets classes. Okay. Yes. Uh, most of the time, bookshops, most of those books, they will put the ages there. For Key Stage 1, there are books. For Key Stage 2, once you go to bookshops, um, I've forgotten the name of the bookshop, whether it's uh, 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 um, uh, W.H. Smith, that's important. W.H. Smith sells a lot of things. Um, Waterstone, there is there. there. The books, you just go there. There are many, many for math, for English, for science, for each key stage, and you have to get them there. And we'll, we'll, we'll pass them across. I'll pass them across. Any other person, please? Yes, sir. My child is in uh, year one, sir. She's age five. And she doesn't yes. come home with any assignments, sir. And when I ask her about the exam, the, for the last time, she said they didn't write any exam or test. Uh, so in, in year, uh, which year? Year five. She's uh, five years old. She's in year oh, one. If she's five years, she's still in year one. And it, it, you just find out. You have to go to the school, find out what is there, and that there are books you can teach year one. They are proper. That's why I say go to the bookshop. Go and say appropriate books for appropriate year. And that will help. Hello, sir. Sister Tony. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sister Tony, yes. I can see sir, Tony, please, sir. I want to confirm. Um, do you have uh, any online platform apart from IXL or Bond? Where, like, where they teach? Oh, there students? are many. Oh, there are many. IXL is good. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, you can also pay for some. My mass is good for. Uh, it just is. It's I'm, a little I'm, bit I mean, people. Pay. Like, and like it, you said, you owed some classes in Bamia or Manchester. Like, if you have some classes. Oh, that whether I have, I will give you Pastor Dickwas num uh, something. I'll write that. He's the one. I, I am too busy. As the regional overseer, I'm too busy. I can't be involved. Even too many people want me to teach their children. I cannot. There's a lot on my plate. But I have people that are there, depending on where you are, they are online. Pastor Dickwas is quite good. It's in Telford in Birmingham here. We are able to uh, get, and even talking to you about uh, that, you know, the church in Birmingham, I, I did a free thing for them to come. In several myself, teaching them so that they can pass. But a lot of them didn't come. They went to some fee paying thing. I said, well, 
we want to give them the best. They don't. So he now started the school, and I can tell you, he has really done well. And I will give you his details as well. You have my details. Just the arrow of uh, Midland. You can get me. Uh, just email me, text me. We will get you many things. Yes, okay, sister. Thank you. Can I, have, can I want to ask um, this question for those of us that have younger children that are less than five? Because I don't notice in most of their nursery schools here, they just involve them in um, crafts in and play. Yeah, and what can yeah, we do to get them started um, as early as possible? It's, it's good. If, if they are four or five, craft is good. It's developing the mind that you can just do something at home. There are books, there are things you can teach. Don't teach them too beyond them. You can teach a little bit of things. Maybe one plus one. There are books that can help so that you are not stretching too much. You need to just cope with their age group. And then there are a few things that we can bring across to you. If there are four or five, I mean, I, I have a four or five year, it is three to four here. Uh, it's talking about joining things. I know if you come from Africa, they don't beyond that on color, on things, that on phonics, but it, we also have a bit of mathematics where they can do one plus one using, using things that can be done. I mean, I have a book by a lady called Carol Voderman, Mass Made Easy, ages three to five. I don't know whether, can you see, can you see it? Yeah. I, I, I will, yes. You can see that. I will write. Can will everybody go back said, to the class now? Let's, okay. let's leave the breakout room now to the main room. We will, we will talk Thank you so things. much, sir. God bless you. I pray our children will excel and succeed in Jesus' name. Let's quickly pray. Amen. 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 God, I just want to thank you and bless you for the short time we have spent. We pray, O Lord God, that the knowledge and understanding you have given us will enable us to make our children to excel in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for those who are here that, Lord, you will, O Lord God, help them, their Amen. desire. And these children, O Lord God, later on in life, we give them peace. Amen. And there will be a blessing to them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank I appreciate you. I appreciate you for coming here, and we pray you still have opportunity to get questions across later. But it is well. We will do much more as a region. I mean, as a nation, we'll do much more for us so that we can be better. And you all can. I tell you what. Let me just tell you something. My children, by the grace of God. I've got two daughters and one son. The little we give them, and your own children will excel them. Two are uh, uh, PhD older, the other uh, is a master. But your children, with all that you know now, we didn't know much. And with God on our side, they will excel in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's, let's, let's uh, go back. You can go back to the main room. I thought, uh, I don't.